This is the biggest refugee camp in the world. It's the Dadaab camp in Kenya, where people suffering from drought and famine have gone for help. Some of the people here have walked 100 miles or more. Some traded everything they had for transportation, even the clothes on their back or the shoes on their feet. This camp is meant to shelter 90,000 people. By August 2011, the camp was overflowing, with more than 360,000 people seeking refuge from the worst drought in East Africa in more than 60 years. These are the lucky ones. Many others did not make it there. Millions of people across East Africa are struggling to survive. Livestock have died and crops have failed. And by July 2011, the crisis reached the level of famine. For what food is left, prices have skyrocketed. With their livelihoods destroyed, few can afford the high cost of food that is available. People are on the move in the hot summer heat, on foot in search of food, water, and care. They're taking shelter under trees, empty cartons, anything they can to protect them from the sun. But with no food or water, thousands of children are dying before they get to the refugee camps. Hunger and dehydration aren't the only threats. Weakened by malnutrition, children are falling ill, and their bodies cannot fight off even routine sicknesses. Health clinics are struggling desperately to keep up with the needs, but they don't have enough supplies or enough doctors. Many children make the difficult and dangerous journey to the clinic, only to die because their bodies are too weak to fight and doctors don't have what they need to help them. Some of the refugees walking under the hot sun in search of help see a glimmer of hope in the health clinics. They go to the doors saying, I am not sick, I just need food. Understaffed and undersupplied, doctors do not know what to do. They're giving multivitamins out of desperation in hopes of buying time. We cannot imagine the suffering that people in places like Somalia, Kenya, and Ethiopia are facing. Because of the drought, this is now the reality of the meaning of famine. We, did, we, we, we discussed the terminology, the numbers, the figures, the statistics, but this is what the reality is. When we say famine, we look at Abdurraouf and his family here, and we see famine in reality, in the flesh. This, the situation is very, very desperate for them to have walked traveled 320 kilometers across the arid desert in the heat leaving everything that they know it must have been sheer desperation to have made that arduous journey we like to think the likes of Rauf and his family Abdullah Rauf and this family are the fortunate ones it's difficult to say that I'm looking at a fortunate family God knows what's left behind. God knows. They call it the roads of death. They call it the valleys of death. They call it the entire desert of death. And you can see what it means. Abdullah does not look like a 13-year-old boy. It's just body in bones wrapped in flesh. There is no meat. There's complete deficiency. It doesn't look like this child is alive. His eyes weren't moving, his mouth wasn't moving, you wouldn't think he was alive. But these bones, there's, no, there's nothing there. Mm. They, you feel that they're going to break and that this is a lifeless body and needs to be, uh, needs uh, immediate attention. It needs immediate attention. We cannot ignore them. Please donate today.